hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? Big P here. But you already know that, don't you? So that's why you've tuned in. It does help if you take the handbrake off, Ross. Uh, you know what time it is, don't you? Weapon of the week. Weapon of the week! <laughs> yep, it's that time again. It's that time where I stick it to somebody that's behaving like, like a weapon in boxing or, or people in the media that, that cover boxing. Uh, this way. Uh, after careful consideration and speaking to people that I trust, saying, what do you think? If you ever mentioned this certain person, I were like, well, I don't know about him. I don't know. Don't know about him. And they're like, well, go look at interviews he's done. So I went up till 3 a.m. looking at some videos and interviews that he'd done. And it's got to be Gareth A. Davis. This week's weapon of the week. Weapon, Gareth A. Davis. The simple reason that every interview is projecting himself as every fighter's best mate and confidant. And it's not true. It ain't true and he's this guy that's matchmaking, promoting and they might be promoting the stuff on the channels for him, but not a matchmaker. Do you know, it's like, it's rimming on a massive scale. What are you doing? Do you know what I mean? It's rimming on a massive, where am I going here? I've drove bait now. I don't even know what I'm doing one today. Uh, no milk, so I'm going for a Costa. But, it's just rimming on a massive, massive scale. I mean, I, I watched some of them interviews and who's giving this, this guy here a job? to cover boxing because all he's doing is cheerleading I mean maybe I've picked wrong weapon this week if we're going to be in Bean or Macklin but Bean or Macklin people would say I'm just picking on them wouldn't they but did, has anybody actually seen the rimming that Macklin and Bean have been doing on Katie Taylor he was cheerleading on a massive scale on it but Gareth A. Davis is as just on a humongous scale. He's he's look he's lost control, that man. Let's pull up here. He, he's he's lost control. He's on another planet, Gareth A. Davis, on a massive, massive another planet. It's shocking. I mean, you need to go and look at them interviews he's done surrounding Kel Brook fight. I mean, go look at the Tyson Fury ones. I mean do you know what I mean? I mean, where were Gareth Davis speaking up for Tyson Fury when press was slaughtering him after he beat Vladimir who were coming out with them outlandish statements? Where were he, Gareth A. Davis then? Hey, why weren't he having to go at that Oliver Holt who, who kept digging Tyson out? Where, where were he then? Where were Gareth A. Davis then? He were, he was the disappearing man like Tony Bell, you wasn't he? You know, they're all disappearing men, aren't they? Or Dave Allen's disappeared, but he'll, he's the reappearing man. He'll be back, won't he? He'll be in bubble this week, Dave. Dave Dave's needs his fix, but it could have been Dave Allen, could have been Macklin, and it could have been Bean. But it isn't this week. This week's weapon is Gareth A. Davis. Take a bow, son. Take a bow. You finally arrived on Porky's Corner when you are a weapon of the week. So, am I sorry Gareth? No. Do you want to come on my channel for a date, debate about it? You don't. Because you don't want to lose your press pass. There you. You don't want to lose your press pass. 
you're another Dave Allen thinking to yourself all right you won't want to lose your press pass let me tell you but I've got a little black book me porky and I put people in my black book and anybody who's wronged me when they come crawling back for some porky attention I just go like that in a way get out of dodge <laughs> so that's about it really the only other gripe I've got is every car wash in Rotherham shut Oh, Bill have been shut in a month there. So, there's a jet wash here, but I'm too lazy. Got too much on, and I've got Matt Skelton on in a minute. So, we're going to do a serious biblical blast. But, uh, looks like Eastwood, uh, looks like I'm going to blag Ben at Eastwood Cars here. See if he'll do it. He's a porky follower. Nice Porsche over there. Only problem with Porsches, the 10 tick gallon. No good. So that's about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this weapon of the week. So, alright. So I hope you're going to like and share and subscribe. Share it amongst your pals on WhatsApp. But get behind the Mickey Fury, John Fury fight because serious talks are ongoing for the next summer. So they're going to get at it. So I hope you're training, John. Don't have nightmares. So, all right, peace out. It was the right hook come, come shot. Very short punch with all the torque, and, and he just had his body position in the right, in the right place, didn't he, Crawford? And he turned. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>